Hello everyone! In this video, we're still under qualitative research. It's just that we are going to discuss the different methodologies in data collection. According to Green and Brown 2005, the purpose of qualitative data collection is to gather rich and descriptive information and data that is once analyzed will enable the researchers to provide description and interpretation of the phenomenon that is found in the question of the qualitative research. There are six different methodologies in data collection found in this video. As we go through each of them, we can say that these methodologies are helpful when it comes to giving sufficient evidences and support to the interpretation and understanding of the different phenomena by the researchers and the research. The first methodology in our list is the in-depth interview. This is the process of obtaining information and data from a sample through series of questions and answers. A sample is a person that is being interviewed who is experiencing the phenomenon that is being researched. In-depth interview is a kind of interview that is structured, meaning to say the researchers had already planned or structured all the questions and possible follow-up questions for the whole process of interview. It also includes the time or the span of the interview and the different persons that would be involved in the process. The second type of methodology found in this list is the semi-structured interview. When we say semi-structured interview, there is also a list of questions that is prepared by the researchers. It's just that in this type of interview, the questions could deviate from this topic to another topic depending on the situation and on the flow of the interview or the process. The third one is the focus group. When we say focus group, this is a kind of observation and interviewing wherein the focus is on a certain group of people or community that is experiencing a phenomena or is the target of the behavior, ritual, practice, and customs that we need to study in the research. Number four is conversational analysis. When we say conversational analysis, this could be a recording or a narration of an interview, conversation, or a dialogue that is to be used in the process of the research. Number five is the participant observation. This is one of the most used when it comes to qualitative research. Observation is very efficient and very effective when it comes to soliciting information, gathering data, and also observing the different factors that could affect the phenomenon that is being studied. The last methodology in our list is videoing. In this process, as the name suggests, the researcher or the interviewer captures the moment or the process of interviewing, observation, or data gathering through the use of camcorders, phones, cameras, and other gadgets that could capture videos. This is one of the most efficient and effective way of data gathering since there is a stored information found in the video that you have recorded. 